to 9.2, we're continuing to work on coordinate graphs. Um, we're going to take a look at an activity on page 298 of your math journal. And we'll be plotting some points that are listed here to complete the picture below. So we have some more numbers on this graph, on this coordinate grid, than we had last time. We go all the way up to 21 here. So 21, 14 is our first ordered pair. Remember, we always run. So run 21 before we jump. We're going to jump up all the way to 14. Now this will be a little bit harder for me to do here on the computer, but it's going to be really important for you to take your ruler or a math template and use it as a straight edge to connect these points. It's also important for you to connect these points as we go. Um, if you're not connecting them in order, it can be difficult to go back and remember what order you plotted them in and know how to connect them correctly. So we did this one, now we're on 1711. So I'll run 17, jump 11, right here. And so again, since I'm going in order, I'm going to connect, connect my next points, and then move on and continue to graph. So 17.3, I'm sorry, 17.13, run 17 again, this time go up 13. And let me see if I can help you out getting some lines in here for you um, so that we can see what we're doing. So let's see, we've got that. And then we're making a line here. So this will work as my straight edge. And then another line up. Okay, so let's go back and continue with this. We've done this one. 15, 14 is my next um, ordered pair. So I go over 15 on my X axis up 14 on the Y, and I plot my point, just making sure I'm at 14 here, 15, 14, yep, connect my lines. Okay, so you'll continue with this, you'll go ahead and do this and then check your work. Um, there's also some questions that go along with this activity, pull those over for you real quick. You can see that there's some cities marked on the map and they want to know what the coordinate uh, the coordinates are for that. So what is the ordered pair for Chicago, Illinois? And so you'll need to come through and find out, well, where is this X? So to get there, I have to run 15 and jump 11. Remember to write your running first, your X axis first. So we said we ran 15 and we jumped 11. And so you'll do that for some other points, and then they will ask you to plot some other points as well. Good luck with this lesson and have fun.